Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Adrienne with Practical Living Through Grace. Today I am sharing a back to school prep and organization video with me. Um, I'm gonna go over how I prepare for back to school for kids in all the grades and two different school districts. So it gets very hairy sometimes and kind of chaotic. So this year I wanted to be definitely prepared. I feel like I'm starting the game a little late because we have two weeks until school starts, but I got all their school supplies done. I bought some organization stuff to help me and yeah, I wanted to bring you guys along for that. I know it's not a thrift haul, but I did buy all my storage containers thrifting. So I didn't go to a big box store. The only thing I went for a big box store was the, their actual school supplies. Everything is just so inexpensive right now. Now is the time to stock up. You can get cram boxes for like 25 cents. So I usually try to stock up or the glue sticks you get two for 25 cents. So um, I like to have all that stuff on hand. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then let's go. So come along with me to the thrift store and see all the treasures that I found. Alright, so right now I'm at Goodwill and of course I had to check out the dishware section and oh, that plate was so pretty. And look at, they finally have teacups and saucers and teapots. This was so cute too. $3.99 and oh, those were cute coffee mugs. Um, oh, I need bowls. Uh, but these were kind of pricey. I think they were like $5.99 for four. So I kept those there. I'm just waiting for the perfect ones. And those were okay teacups. But oh, these bowls were so cute. Pioneer Woman. And they had the perfect amount. But I just couldn't pay $2 a piece. So I know, I'm cheap. So anyways, I'm just continually looking. And oh, is this a Wexford punch bowl with cups? Oh, already have something similar so I'm really just looking right now for mugs I'm oh look at this teapot $5.99 it was kind of cute this was so cute $1.99 I kept it there I didn't take it I have too many now um oh this was really sweet but $5.99 I don't know Goodwill's on crack I really like this mug it was $1.99 but it was too bent out of shape and let's see what else are we gonna find oh, i couldn't believe this oh, i've been looking for a christmas teapot i left it i am kicking myself however i did see some fall mugs right there at the bottom left and uh, i'll go back to that but this is a cute mug but not for 2.99 i'm pretty cheap when it comes to that this was a good price and i didn't take it i don't know why i left it there and then here's some I kind of already gotten like I went through all my kids clothes and had like two bags full of clothes to I take them to this place where they buy and sell clothes I love it because whatever they buy I use as credit to get them clothes and they have a lot of brand new stuff from like Target, Costco, all like discontinued stuff, still has tags on it. Sometimes I can get stuff for like a dollar, which is amazing. To drop off, um, like I said, I, I started buying back to school supplies. So I got all their school supplies done. I like to do them all in one place. So I'll check like Target and Walmart, which is pretty much the same, but I have Walmart Plus. So it's, <laughs> I didn't have to leave my house to go pick up anything. So I just got everything at Walmart. It was really, fast I got it within three hours and that was fun um, for the kids you know handing out stuff um, but what I did this year was something different which I've gotten a lot of tips from a lot of different videos um, this particular one I got this tip from Laura Lauren Nicholson I'll try to put her thing below she's really awesome in organizing and stuff like that and um, she has a back to school playlist so I'll also link that because like I said she has a lot of good resources so what I did was I printed off all of their um, all the kids school supply list I have my daughter who goes to a different school in a different school district so another city and um, she's in her dad's and my stepkids um, 
go to a different school district. So I put it all on a spreadsheet and I can show you guys what that looks like. Um, but basically you just put all the school supplies on one column and then across I put their names. I also made a column for extra. So like to have at home for school, like and for when they're doing homework and then one just for myself if I ever need it. So I, I was able to do that and I just did a drop off to Goodwill and I wanted to check their stuff um, as far as organization goes, like storage bins, stuff like that. And I was pleasantly surprised about with the stuff I was able to find and mostly I was looking for stuff to organize like pencil, like the pencil area. I'm really going to do up the mud room this year and kind of make it more fun for them and decorate in there. And I wanted to get some stuff for that. Um, I have different cubby holes and stuff like that. I wanted to make a homework supply area if they need markers, pencils, scissors, glue, stuff like that. Also for school lunches, um, I wanted just containers and also for my refrigerator to get it like organized <laughs> instead of using like random things. So I got a bunch of stuff from there. I also got a few things thrifting. Um, I'm being very, very selective. I haven't gone to a thrift store in two months, but I found some stuff I was, I've been looking for. So just a few things, but everything else was all what I was needing. Do a haul of that once I get home, but I just wanted to bring you guys along. This is a portion of the thrift haul for back to school. I'm going to show you the items that I just picked up from Goodwill. Um, I was looking for storage bins, storage containers that would hold um, school supplies, school lunch um, items, stuff like that. It's a hot one outside, so I look tousled. But anyways, let's get to this haul. Everything is plastic. Don't come for me, okay? <laughs> I tried looking for glass. I didn't really find anything. But I found one of these puppies and it was only 99 cents. It's brand new. Um, you can get these at Dollar Tree. It's a Dollar Tree Jot brand. And I actually, this is cheaper. So um, Dollar Tree is now $1.25. So this worked out. And what I'm going to use this for is to have downstairs to have band-aids, um, maybe little rubber bands, um, push pins, little things like that, or safety pins that they'll need for school when they come home or when they leave, when they come home just so I can have it right there ready available for me to just grab and I go to the gym in the morning and I had gotten new shoes and I get blisters on the back of one of them so I've been looking for um, a band-aid holder and I saw Michelle which I'll put her link below I can't say her last name she had this great idea with band-aids using a tackle box and I thought that was great, but I don't use that many band-aids, which I should because I have a lot of kids. Um, but I thought this would be sufficient. And if we need to move up to a tackle box, that would be great. The next thing is a little pencil holder um, to store pencils, markers, whatever I need, scissors, glue. I was trying to look for these type of like pencil holder cups or whatever. And this was only 99 cents too. I also... Um, dropped off items first so they give you like a 20% coupon so I was able to snag that. I've been looking this is like non back to school stuff but I I am a plant uh, indoor plant mama like I've been able to somehow keep alive a few plants mostly those snake plants like I had one that I got from Trader Joe's many years ago and it had eight babies and so <laughs> I'm giving some away. My husband takes them to work and um, I've been switching, playing around with the planter and so he, my husband is really knowledgeable in horticulture and um, he said they need to breathe. So I bought this. Goodwill has a section, like a summer section of brand new items and uh, all their summer stuff is 50% off right now. So. It was 270 so 135 for this super cute terracotta looking plastic i need to drill holes in it 
um, and then have a little flat thing for my little ivy because she hasn't been growing. I got her at Trader Joe's for like six or seven bucks. And then I needed one for my snake plant because I, again, I switched it all around. Because I was trying to be cute and put them in milk glass containers and brass containers and it's just not working. So this is also a new one. This was four thirty-five, so it was two, mm, two something. <laughs> but my plan is either keep them like this or put some gold on it. Try to look, make it look brass, maybe. We'll see. The next item I got this huge storage container for a dollar, and I got two of them. Um, so I'm thinking like pantry school snacks stuff like that um in the mornings for when i'm making school lunches and stuff like that i have i'll try to show it to you it's very red it's very raggedy and uh i have my cereal in there or kids breakfast all their snacks and like dry erasers chalk all of that and the reason why i have to keep it separate from downstairs is because they'll eat it they'll use my stuff and write, you know, erase stuff that I need that's important on the board. This year, I'm not really doing that. I'm really printing out things, try to be more organized and people can read it and all of that. So anyways, I was thinking maybe I could use this as my morning basket that I take from my bedroom downstairs because the one I have is like really, you'll see, it's like a fabric. Um, so I got two of those because I can use one somewhere else. It. So here's the other one, and that was a dollar too. So I found a lot of these substantial um, containers. I don't know who it's from, but these were also a dollar. I found two of them. Um, they had another one for a dollar ninety nine, and I should have took it up there to have them give it to me for that, but I didn't. I don't know. I'm stupid. But anyways, I found other bins. Um, this one was $1.99. some more expensive and it's smaller, but I still needed stuff like this. Um, again, those will probably be for refrigerator stuff, like to put yogurt or um, what are those things? Cheese sticks. Um, and I definitely needed one of these. I already have a drawer, um, egg drawer because I get, what is it, five or six dozen. There's like 60 eggs. We eat a lot of eggs. And it's never enough. I think it's it holds four dozen maybe. So I'm always putting the extra eggs in like this random storage container that is sometimes available and sometimes not. So I saw this one for $2.99 and I think it's the right amount. So it holds 14 and I think it is the right amount because me and my husband eat about six eggs together in the morning i don't eat the yolk all the way i like take the anyway, okay digressing and then um i found this and it looks brand new um for a dollar 99 i think you can use these in the restroom like as really anything but um this i'm going to use for markers or crayons again they didn't have a ton of these. Um, they only had like one more and it was more expensive. So I found two of these and I thought those would be cute for the um, homework station that I'm gonna show you when I'm done with it. That was great. I loved all the things I was finding. I probably could get them so much more cheaper at the DI, but I wasn't thinking, I didn't go that far, so oh well. If I need more, I'll go there because the DI is way cheaper. And here's another one of those can holders and 99 cents. And again, I can put like, we do energy drinks, um, what else? condiments, so many things like applesauce packets, so many things you can use for the refrigerator for that. And only $1.99, like I'm going to try to put up here where you can get these and for how much. And if you do want something like this, probably Amazon. You can probably find them or go to your thrift store and see if you can find them. I'm pretty sure you can't just look in their plastic goods section. And then I found these skinny ones, which these will fit like 
yogurt pouches or applesauce pouches. I liked the thinness of it. It was only $1.99. Those sheets were 99 cents. I should have told the person, like, they're all the same size. So you just get everything for 99 On two of those. So here's the other one. $1.99. And then I found these, this little stack of little storage and someone must have been giving all their storage stuff away thank you god because you knew i needed this um and this was only 99 cents which is a great price because you can put these in there like i was thinking like erasers or paper clips or something who knows rubber bands i need to redo my hair drawer so <laughs> i was thinking of that too okay and here's i have a junk drawer that i'm going to do It'll be more for like, I'm just reorganizing my kitchen as well. So I was also keeping that in mind. Um, so I'll use this somewhere in the kitchen and it kind of goes along with everything. Um, and this one was $1.99. It has the two different or three different sizes. So I thought that was so good. And one of my favorite pieces is this to go with the plastic theme. Lazy Susan. <laughs> I was in there messing with it. People were looking at me like I was weird, but I was like, yeah, I haven't seen my these in a while. But I was kind of like, I could use this. I have a like corner, um, excuse me, it's, it's under construction, <laughs> um, a corner like cabinet and some stuff is hard to get to. So I thought this would be great or, or vitamins and stuff like that would be fun because yeah, I'm just trying to get organized. So that was all back to school preparation, organization, thrift haul. This next part is a me haul. Um, everything from the same Goodwill, but it's pieces I've been looking for forever. I wasn't looking for them. You can always find those things when you're not looking. I put a that I've been looking for every time I go to the thrift store never find them and I found them and I left them behind because I have enough now but that's what happens you gotta go when you're not looking for stuff but this time I was looking for stuff and I actually found some stuff so <laughs> never doesn't matter okay so I found this beauty it's so cute a teapot no handle it's missing <sighs> oh well I'm sure it's pretty <laughs> I mean look at that lip how pretty is that on the lid so I thought I could just use it as a, what do you call it? A vase, a boss. Um, it was $3.99. I just love the tarnish. You know me, I'm not going to do anything. There's a stamp, which, what does it say? Oh girl, something Rogers. Ooh, I've heard of that before. This is pretty old then. Y'all, I had to show you what I found. It's a 19, 80s or 30s for like almost $200. Is that crazy? I scored big time. W, oh my gosh, I cannot. You guys try. I'm gonna put it here and then we'll. But anyways, $3.99, I thought it was a good price. Like look at the top. Oh, I bet you the handle was so pretty because this next one, whoo child. So cute. I'm wondering if someone just because I found so many pieces silver pieces and oh, I just don't have the money for it right now just I cut it but look at this <laughs> when I pose it's for um the thumbnail <laughs> anyways I had the jackpot on this one 165 for one piece oh I love it look at this look at her leggies they're so pretty there's a dent but it's okay i like that like she's so pretty i wonder if i can drink out of it because it looks like you probably can look at her handle it was only 5.99 so not a bad price actually pretty good i've seen these go for way more at other thrift stores and I was like, I seen it from afar. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. And I had that one in my car. I'm like, oh, I can't leave that one. I got to take it. So I took both of them. So I have one over there that I might switch out. 
we'll see for the winter. That's more for spring, summer. So I was thinking for fall, winter, that would be so cute with some like fall leaves coming out, fall boy, boy, foliage, foliage. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. But anyways, I love it. And to go with that, again, like I think somebody was getting rid of their stash. Probably the same person that was getting rid of their bins, but come on now. And they are heavy like that one. Oh, it's the same. Okay, you guys, look at, can you see it? Oh, now you're seeing. But um, W.M. Rogers. So that's what that other one is, W.M. Rogers. I'll try to put the information here if I find anything. And this one, I found the little sugar. Maybe it had a lid, but oh well. This one was $2.99. Look at those legs and her arms. How gorgeous. Oh, I just love this. You guys, I love it. So this one was $2.99 too. So you know, you know I couldn't leave those. So super happy about that stuff. Okay, so now I promise to show you how I'm organizing my back to school stuff. Okay, so I'll show you my extras after doing all the kids their stuff. Um, I'll show you what I have on hand just in case I need them. Um, so I have sophomore, so 10th grader, and he is 16. Um, an eighth grader, he's 13. Two f fourth graders, one's 10, one's nine. Um, my daughter was held back. And then a third grader. So anyways, um, and then my daughter goes to a completely different school as my boys, different school district, different city. So I was wanting to be organized this year because last year was chaos and I was like running around with my chicken head off. I mean, I still am now, probably t I'm talking like it, but I wanna just be organized ahead of the game. So anyways, um, I had to get each kid spiral notebooks. These are 47 cents at Walmart. Um, usually they're a dollar something. So I get college and wide ruled, um, as you can see. And I try to get their favorite colors. Um, so I always like to have a few on hand in case they need them they run out or something like that and also with the composition books this is college ruled I think I have some wide ruled somewhere but um yeah so I like to have some of those on hand I like to have paper this is a wide ruled for the littles all the littles in elementary need wide ruled um my daughter could go both ways um the high school and junior high do college ruled so um these were 87 cents i think which that's the same price it's been for a while maybe it was less i don't know but now is the time to get them um i also like to have pencils on hand they already got their pencils i buy the 24 pack and just give it give them 12 each um and they can put like erasers on it so i have two of those for the whole year if i need more i can always go get them but definitely buy extra because during the year um the prices go back to normal, so buy what you can. So I'm probably gonna buy more of these mechanical pencils, um, just because these are for the older kids and these go fast. Um, so one of them has the refill, but I think I'm gonna buy more because these were $1.87, which is pretty cheap for a pack of 10. Um, rulers are 25 cents standard. They can put these in their notebooks, binders, has the holes. Um, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, um, pocket folders, <coughs> how much were these? I think these were 25 cents. I remember when they were like 10 for a dollar. I wish those days would come back, maybe next year. Anyways, so I like to have a few of these on hand. I think I need to buy more because, actually I don't. Last year I had extra, so one is fine. I don't even think the ones the boys used last year didn't even. Also, I like to have this um, erasers for homework. Here's another ruler. Those are good to have too when they're doing homework and 
someone gets out of hand. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, and then I, these were 50 cents, so I bought a few. I'm out of everything I used. I used to buy in so many when they were like cheaper than that, 25 cents. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to stock up. Um, so I have two packs. Again, one for me, one in case the kids need it or for homework. Um, but I think I'm going to buy some more just for next year, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I bought glue sticks. These were the 25 cents a pack. So I bought a lot of these because they go with glue sticks like there's no tomorrow. These were 50 cents and they're sharpened. So the kids like that. I only have one pack of those. I don't know why I didn't get more, but there's some more glue sticks. Glue was 50 cents or 25. I can't remember. Cheap. So I got two of those. You can use those for crafts. Um, I did buy a sharpener, which I thought I bought more so I could get to each one. But anyways, there's one in the homework bin. So I think I'll keep that as extra. So another glue I bought, maybe these were 25 cents. I think they were. Crayons, I have an extra box of crayons, which is gonna be for the homework box and then an extra for me just to have on hand. Um, and then I bought some more erasers because last year it was so difficult for the kids to keep pencils and they had no erasers. So this year I'm like, we're gonna, you know, put this in there and have that and they can just grab and go as they need. So I bought two packs. I think these were 50 cents or 25 cents, can't remember. So that's it for the back to school haul. Um, here is what I'm going to show you. So what I did was, you know, I want to show you the school name, but like for junior high, you get the um, list and I crossed out what I had in black, then highlighted what we needed. So that was for middle school. The fourth, third and fourth was the same. So again, I blacked out what I had and highlighted what we needed. And then for my daughter's school, which is like I said, a different district, different school, she needed that, which is a lot less than the other kids. Um, so what I did was I made a spreadsheet <laughs> and it's all like, at least it's up there for next year, but this was a lifesaver. Um, I just, put like a blank check mark, a blank box of, so I could write in how many I needed. And then I put the school supply list. I kind of did in categories. Um, and then I put their names and then extra, and then I was going to put the price. Um, but since I did it all in one place, cause it's going to do price match. I'm like, screw no, we ain't doing that don't have time and there is um so it's the whole thing I even put stuff in there that I had and didn't need for next year in case I do need it so this was great I just did an excel spreadsheet if you want it uh, I can send it to you to you message me send me an email or at least message me somehow um, I'll leave my email right here and just email me tell me you want the print out and I'll take their names off. Um, if you don't have Excel, let me know. I can put leave your kids' names and I'll put them in there for you and send it back to you. So that may take some time, but uh, you get the drift. Or, or I can do a blank one. That may be easier. And that way you guys can put your kids' names and stuff. And, you know, whatever else you want up here. That could be a thing. But that's how I organized this year. Again, I went through all their school clothes. Um, for Christmas, we usually buy them clothes and new shoes um, or whatever they need, necessity things for that year. And their birthdays are like throughout the year. Um, also for their birthdays, if they need shoes, we get them shoes, a birthday outfit or clothes or whatever. So they've got, they have new clothes. Um, 
in like their summer clothes last year. They used this year. Summer in really good shape because I did um, pack the newer stuff away so it would be available for school. And um, so they don't need a lot. I'd say my little boys need like a few shirts, t-shirts and shorts because once September comes, it starts to cool down. Um, they're good on sweatpants and pants. Some like pants, some don't. So I have to just buy a few things of those. Um, their shoes are really good. Um, the only one that needs stuff is my daughter because she's grown. Like she's taller and so um, she's definitely in the next size. She's 10, so she's like 10, 12 and all her 7, 8 stuff is like it's done. She can really like her clothes will last a good two or three years. Um, and the littles too, like one of them passes down to the other and so forth. Um, so she's going to need new shoes. Like I only have her two to three days out of the week. Um, school days because <laughs> I get her on Sunday, Saturday evening to Tuesday and then Saturday evening to Wednesday. So really she only needs like five, um, outfits which is like two weeks worth so not that much and then she has her play clothes and stuff um so that's how I'm doing that a lot like I, just, I was telling you before I like to um clean out their closet take it down to the kids consignment where they buy and sell use the credit for whatever they need and like I said they have a lot of great deals I'll try to take you in there the next time I go really use those resources around you throughout the summer go to yard sales and find like stuff like that so all right you guys that's it for this haul and thank you so much for stopping by um i love i'm probably gonna do maybe one or two more videos i might do like showing you how everything looked you know preparing all of that i don't like to do long drawn out cleaning videos i don't know i don't I like watching people do it, but I don't know. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, but I can show you how it turned out. And then I can do a back to school vlog. I can try to do that. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what was your favorite find. <laughs> Mine were, you know. <laughs> Mine were um, my little teapots and my little silver items. Um, as far as the other things go, I was excited to find all that stuff. It was like, how much was it? It was like $45. And then with the 20% off, I don't know, it's like $10 less or something. Um, and again, buy, when you're buying school supplies, um, Walmart or Target, they're the same price. Um, buy extra or even think about next year like if you have two kids obviously it's cheaper to buy them now and then just keep them for next year so you can save money and i have a lot of kids and so every year it's changing um but i like to have like one extra on hand and then one for the homework bin so yeah all right you guys again thank you so much for watching um so like this video comment share this video if you know anyone that loves thrifting or is interested in back to school or a mom or whatever definitely do that i love that and subscribe i would love to have you in this family um by hitting that red bell below also hit the gray notification bell so you can be notified of my next video which again is probably going to be back to school stuff and then i'll get back to thrifting and all that once kids go back to school because it's cray gray and i have a baby who is growing exponentially like i don't know if you guys saw in the last videos he's freaking huge so um taking care of him <laughs> it's been hard but yeah all right guys i'll see you in the next one bye if you're wondering what kind of dog he is he's a conic corso and they stick to you like glue but they will protect you they will protect you. So with the times that are coming ahead of us, you need something like that.